everybody, it's Kendra. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. So I'm gonna take a short break from my Black Friday shopping because I've already done a fair amount of it. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how to make this. So what I have here is a superfood mushroom hot chocolate. Um, this is what it looks like when you've made it. I mean, you can't really see much cause it's covered in marshmallows, but when you make it, it looks like this. So the recipe that I'm gonna show you today, I get around two cups. This is a pint jar, two cup jar. Um, I get slightly over two cups because I add in a lot of stuff. Um, so it just kind of depends what you wanna add in. Like if you don't have all the ingredients or if you want to do smaller amounts of the ingredients, totally, totally fine. I'm just throwing out all my ideas. I'm gonna show you what I do and then you can decide what works for you and just kind of mix and match stuff. Also, I just wanna say, if you are looking for a Christmas gift, what about something like this? Um, it's like fairly inexpensive to make this. Um, and this is just so sweet. You know, give give your family member or friend, whatever, uh, a nice jar of hot chocolate mix, put a pretty label on there, you know, maybe give them a bag of marshmallows, or you can even, oh, you can even find like some of those fancy, like the fancy pants artisanal marshmallows, do that, pretty mug. There you go, make a little hot chocolate basket. So anywho, superfood mushroom hot chocolate. Now, when I'm saying superfood, like all the stuff I'm putting in here is like a superfood. The main superfoods I'm talking about today are maca and ashwagandha. You can't even see that this is ashwagandha because of my big old clip. There we go, ashwagandha. So maca is really good for balancing hormones. Um, and the thing that's nice in this hot chocolate mix with the maca is that maca already has a very kind of like caramely flavor. So this blends well just like from a flavor perspective. Um, so yeah, you don't have to worry about any like weird funky flavors with the maca. Now, ashwagandha is another superfood and it is amazing for balancing stress. So I actually take ashwagandha pills um, like once a day. Yeah, I think I take like one ashwagandha supplement um, every day, but this is very good for dealing with stress. And well, aren't we all like dealing with tons of stress right now? I think so. Okay, so for the mushroom powders that I'm using, um, I'm gonna be using three today. I'm gonna be using reishi and turkey tail and chaga. So I've got mushroom powders. You wanna get like the powdered mushrooms for this. So you can use tons of other mushrooms too. You don't have to use three. You can just do whatever blend you like. Um, I'm doing these three because all three of these support the immune system. Like chaga and turkey tail are amazing for the immune system, amazing for colds. Reishi is great for supporting the immune system. And reishi is also really good just for like helping to deal with stress and just, it's kind of calming. So my focus right now is <laughs> dealing with the stress of life um, and also like a super, super immune boosting. Um, but you know, maybe you want to do uh, lion's mane. That's really good for the brain. You could do cordyceps. Cordyceps is really good for energy. I cannot take cordyceps. Cordyceps to me is like, like I feel like my heart just like thumps out of my chest. Cordyceps is way too strong for me. Um, there's also like maitake, shiitake, so many others I don't actually know. I can't remember what those ones are good for. But anywho, feel free to use however many mushroom powders you want, add in, you know, create your own blend. And then the last thing I wanna talk about before I actually get into the recipe is marshmallow root powder. So I'm gonna be using marshmallow root. So just for like the flavor profile and texture of the hot chocolate, this makes a nice, thick, creamy hot chocolate. But as far as health benefits, marshmallow is really good for like, uh, like the chest, it's good for helping to deal with coughs, um, and it's also good for the digestive system. Alrighty, so let's talk ingredients for this hot chocolate mix. So you're gonna need some form of cocoa or raw cacao. This is just raw cacao. Um, and then you've got a whole different variety of mushroom powders. So I'm gonna be using turkey tail, uh, chaga, and reishi today. All right, and because this is a superfood hot chocolate, we're gonna be using some ashwagandha powder um, and some maca. So the flavor of ashwagandha can be a little bit bitter, um, but in the hot chocolate, it really just kind of disappears. And then finally, we've got some marshmallow root powder. You're also gonna want some vanilla bean powder 
if you can find it and it's affordable for you. If you cannot afford this, do not buy this. Um, vanilla bean powder used to be so much more affordable. Vanilla is crazy expensive. That's why this looks so bad. Um, because I'm basically out and I always put a clip around it. Also, I've got some ground cardamom, some ground ginger, some cinnamon, and some pink Himalayan salt. And finally, because this is hot chocolate, uh, I'm gonna suggest you serve this with marshmallows because they're freaking delicious. I love these Dandies vegan marshmallows. I probably go through a bag of these like every week, every 10 days. I love my hot chocolate with marshmallows. Okay, let's make some hot chocolate. So I've got one cup of my cocoa powder. Gonna put that in a bowl. And next I'm gonna be doing two tablespoons of each mushroom powder. Now, if you are new to mushrooms, maybe go a little bit easier. Um, maybe just use one of these and you know, just do a couple tablespoons of it because I will be doing you know six full tablespoons of mushrooms. So that might seem like a lot. Um, so just kind of, you know, do what works for you. So I've got my reishi in, my chaga, and now my turkey tail. And then I'm also gonna do two tablespoons each of maca and ashwagandha. Mm, the maca smells so good. And now two tablespoons of ashwagandha. And then two tablespoons of the marshmallow root powder. And then we're gonna do one teaspoon each of the salt, ginger, cinnamon, and cardamom. Now, if you are not like a big cardamom person, I get it, it can taste super soapy. So if you really hate cardamom, just omit it. Gosh, isn't this just gorgeous with all these shades of brown? Teaspoon of ginger, teaspoon of salt right in the middle to give a little bit of color. And then finally, I've got two teaspoons of vanilla powder. That is it for my vanilla powder. Gosh, isn't that so pretty? Oh, gorgeous. I don't wanna mix it up, but I will. All right, here we go. And then all you do is mix this up really well. I like to use a whisk or a fork. You could also put this in a jar and just shake it too. So this will make about two cups of mix. Um, if you wanted to use a sweetener in this, you could use like coconut sugar, you could put in regular sugar. Um, I've tried to find just straight monk fruit extract. I used to put this mix of like, I think it was called Lakanto and it was monk fruit extract, but it also had erythritol in it. And I think erythritol can be very, uh, not the greatest for your stomach. And I, I definitely noticed I was having some weird digestive issues with that. Um, so I stopped using that. So now you're gonna see in a second when I prepare this, I just use um, maple syrup. So if you wanted some sort of powder sweetener, you could add a powdered sweetener to this. Um, but I just like to add in maple syrup every time I actually use it. All right, so I've got a two cup mason jar here. I'm gonna try to fit all this in. And let me tell you, if you do not have any of these canning funnels, do yourself a favor and get a couple. They are so useful. I have saved myself so many messes because of these. They're great for canning, obviously, but just like putting stuff into jars, putting soup into containers, it's wonderful. Ooh, this might be a little bit more than two cups. All right, so there we go. I got a full two cups, and then this is probably about eh, maybe a third of a cup. All right, so let's make some hot chocolate here. So you're gonna want some type of milk. So you could use regular milk or non-dairy milk. Um, I'm using a coconut cashew oat milk um, from Minimalist Baker, and the recipe's so good and it makes a really nice creamy hot chocolate. So I'm probably gonna put about maybe like a cup, cup or so into my little milk warming pot. And then I'm gonna add in some maple syrup. So maybe like a tablespoon or so. I mean, just kind of depends how sweet you want this. And then finally, some of our hot chocolate powder. So I'm probably gonna put in like, this is a pretty good full spoon. That's probably close to a tablespoon. 
Um, and you know, here you're just gonna wanna taste it, like just play around with it and see how you feel. Does it need more powder? Does it, well, if it needs less, then I suppose you could add milk to it to sort of dilute it. Um, but just kind of play around with it and see what works for you. Do you need more maple syrup? Do you need more hot chocolate powder? Do you need more milk, etc. All right, and then also I do wanna point out if you have one of these milk frothers, these are wonderful for doing hot chocolate or golden milk, any of these kind of nut milk lattes. Amazing, these work so well. All right, so we're just gonna give this guy a nice froth. If you don't have one of these frothers, you could also use a whisk, you could also just use a spoon. Add in a whole bunch of marshmallows. All right, and that right there, my friends, is one big cup of hygge. So there you go, that is how you make this yummy, yummy hot chocolate. It's so good, I hope you enjoy this. Let me know if you make this. Um, and let me know what you do, like if you do this and you try in different mushrooms, I would love to know what kind that you use. All right, and as for me, I'm gonna take my hot chocolate and go back and do a little bit of Black Friday shopping. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing great. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.